Ultron live stream. We're going to discuss it. Let's see uh, what they have in store for us for the future. Stay tuned, all right? Welcome guys to another Crypt Simple TV video. I'm just making a quick video to go over what we just saw from Tron. They had their live, I guess, tech team meetup where they were going to discuss some things about where's Tron headed, what's going on with Tron, what can we expect. And they did some cool things as, as far as doing a live stream and showing you their office there in China to show you what's going on, how many people they have working. Um, so let's just quickly get into it. For those of you who didn't get a chance to, to see it. Um, Justin Sun tweeted out that they were going to have this live stream of technical team. And so we met with the CTO. We met with the team here. I, what I really wanted to show you guys was this team. You can see we have a nice set of team there working there. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Boom. So you can see it kind of now. There were some comments there in the live stream saying, oh, it looks like a sweatshop. But you can see these these guys are hard at work. You know, making sure that Tron is getting set, it's getting prepared for... I mean, we saw some recent things um, where Tron was being adapted with many apps there in China, with many companies that probably here in the United States we never heard of. You know, all of a sudden you can buy these digital puppies with Tron. And, you know, around here we're not too excited with it. But what we don't know is the, you know, millions and millions and billions of people using it over there in China. Um, what? Okay, maybe not billions, but, you know, thousands and thousands and, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that, that are in China using these apps. So this was a kind of a big scene for, for Tron. Some good things, that, some good takeaways that we that we, uh, that we saw were um, they're, they're getting ready. They're preparing for a testnet launch of the entire Tron environment uh, on March 31st of this year. So just uh, in a month from now, March 31st. Um, or a little less, uh, probably a little more in a month now. They're planning to to launch the the test net. The live net of the actual the main net for Tron will be launched in July of this year. So um, this is very important for us because Tron just started in November. You know, Tron just started in November of 2017. We're getting midway through 2018, and there's a lot of things you know that that are happening. As you can see, this is where we started to discuss the, you know, the current status of Tron, the architecture of Tron, um, how they're planning to make Tron one of the, you know, the, the fastest and cheapest ways for you to, to answer, transfer currency uh, through their network, through the ecosystem that Tron is developing. So there's a, they're starting to pull out, you know, the, one of the cool things here is there's rewards for community developers. If you plan to develop code or, you know, this is more for the programmers. I know probably most of us are just interested in making sure that Tron hits $1, $2, or $3 in the next year or here to come. But, you know, they're, they're progressing to that. They're allowing uh, people to start developing applications on top of the uh, the Tron ecosystem. You know, they can help maintain the wiki, help maintain the docs, you know, uh, edit the, the white paper. They're going to be releasing a white paper for all this, you know, really soon, a new white paper. Uh, Java Tron is trying to focus most of their, their Tron language in, inside of Java. Um, there's also other languages like C++. And they're, they're soon going to be discussing how much reward for what you implement. So if you're in there and you, you know, you edit something on their wiki, you start editing uh, their white paper, you start noticing maybe you, maybe you're a programmer, developer, and you can start developing Tron. They're planning to give rewards for people who are helping the, the Tron ecosystem grow. Uh, and this is a, this is a really good way to get developers interested, you know, to get developers to start working on Tron. They also discussed, um, you know, how they're going to open up an office in San Francisco, but how they want to open up more global offices, you know, a lot more offices uh, here to come. Um, and these are all great things for Tron. You know, I mean, so right now we're looking at Tron sitting at four cents. And I know for most of us, that, that doesn't seem, I mean, we saw it like in, I think it was early January, late December when it hit 30 cents, you know, and it dropped all the way back down to... <laughs> you know, to four cents and it's been, you know, it hit like, I think, I don't know, two cents a few days ago. And it's been pretty brutal um, with the correction that's been going on in cryptocurrency and all the different news and media going around, you know, but this shows us one thing that we always want to look for in a cryptocurrency. People are still working on it. This is not, this is not BitConnect. This isn't some, you know, uh, machine that has special, you know, machine learning technology to know how to work the system, which is BS. No, this is real live developers, real people working on a, on a cryptocurrency and actually trying to make something happen. 
you know, which is something you always want to look for in a cryptocurrency. You want to make sure that there's a team of programmers, developers that are committed to continue to continue working on on the on the cryptocurrency. Because why else would we invest in a cryptocurrency that's going nowhere? You want to make sure that there's people that there's deadlines that they're meeting the deadlines that there are actually people working. And you know, and Justin's son has been given a lot of grief for tweeting out all the little things about oh now they're on this crypt you know this exchange that exchange oh we partnered up with this team we partnered up with this chinese team that nobody's ever heard of because we're here in the united states uh but regardless of all that i mean these are big deals you know he just they just started tron in november and already we're making we're seeing big partnerships with huge companies um you know we're, we're seeing a, a lot we're seeing tron moving forward and this is what we want to see. You know, this is what we want to see. I mean, this isn't, again, you know, I'm not a financial consultant. I don't really care too much about what you're investing in and what you're not investing in. You know, my goal is just to give you the information that we need to see. And what we're seeing with Tron is it is moving forward. You know, regardless of all the, all the, you know, FUD that's being tossed around, regardless of how many people are just saying, oh, Tron is fake. Oh, yeah, Tron is just too hyped up, too pumped up. You know, it doesn't matter. It's moving forward. You know, we'll see, you know, by July. If Tron is going to be successful or not, you know, and I highly recommend that you watch this live feed. It's on our Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and just pin it there for maybe a day or two or a few days from whenever. I mean, look, today is what? Today's February 11th. So, I mean, it's going to be on our Twitter channel pinned to the top, maybe for just uh, February 12th, the entire day. I'll just leave it there for you guys to take a look. Go ahead. And the language barrier is difficult. You know, the accents are very heavy. Um, but we're not we're not here to look at, uh, you know, at, at people, you know, at PR people. We're not looking for perfect press conferences. We're looking for developers. We're looking to see that there's a team and we can see that there's a plan. And we're looking to see that they're actually moving this forward. That's what we want to see. I don't care that maybe they don't know how to speak English. I don't know how to speak Mandarin. You know, I mean, we're not worried about the language. We're, we're, we're looking for progression. And this is something that we could see in Tron. So, um, again, subscribe to our Twitter channel. We're going to keep uh, tweeting out any latest updates that we have. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube. Hit the like button. Hit that bell to make sure that we give you the latest videos. We're going to do, as soon as they release a new white paper, we're going to do a more thorough analysis on Tron, the ecosystem. Because this ecosystem is enormous. It's tremendous. It's huge. You know, if, they, if, they, if they're still planning to go the same approach that Justin Justin's son had, his view, it's a really, really, really big ecosystem. So uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button.